The Pilgrim-1 spacecraft of NASA currently holding the record for the most extensive travel distance of any object made by humans has captivated the world for nearly half a century. Since Voyager 1's launch, it has sent back crucial data from the farthest reaches of space, expanding our understanding of the cosmos. Despite the ongoing spacecraft transmissions, they have recently encountered mysterious anomalies that have puzzled scientists. These odd signals, identified as sparking intense debate, leave the scientific community to speculate whether they are merely an issue or could indicate something much more extraordinary, perhaps even extraterrestrial phenomena. We are joined to explore these perplexing transmissions and think about what might be concealed in the vast expanse of space. Humanity's drive to investigate the uncharted has always propelled space exploration. This innate inquiry led to the development of ambitious missions like Pioneer 1 and Explorer 2, which were some of the most daring missions in space at the time. On August 2, 1977, when Explorer 2 debuted from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, it marked the beginning of a transformative era in space exploration. The first explorer arrived on September 5th, deciding to follow a path that would lead it on a trajectory toward the outer planets, significantly affecting its orbits and mission outcomes. Throughout its journey, these two spacecraft, which weigh approximately 720 kilograms, roughly the size of a small car departed in various directions. On December 15, 1977, a significant milestone was marked when Explorer 1 beat its twin in speed. Because of the various courses they followed, Explorer 1 has since become an invaluable tool in expanding our understanding of the universe, providing insights that have altered the way we perceive it. Before entering Explorer 1's most recent groundbreaking discoveries, let's revisit a few of its earlier important accomplishments. In 1978, when it was about 265 million kilometers from Earth, Explorer 1 successfully took precise pictures of Jupiter. By January 1979, it completed a remarkable 100-hour mission, producing a time-lapse video of Jupiter's rotation. This series of 3,750 images provided unprecedented views of Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere and complex features. During this mission, the spacecraft discovered a previously unidentified ring surrounding Jupiter and extensively identified to new moons, enriching our understanding of the gas giant's intricate system. To ensure a safe trip and avoid collisions with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, the spacecraft carried out a number of correction maneuvers. After these, the mission's focus shifted away from the planets of our solar system as the spacecraft moved toward interstellar space, traveling at a staggering rate of 325 million kilometers every year. In January 1990, Explorer 1 began its investigation of interstellar space, continuing its journey beyond the solar system. During this phase, the spacecraft achieved a number of outstanding feats, including the discovery of four additional moons, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. It also captured one of our solar system's most famous images. On February 14, 1990, at a distance of around 6 billion miles away from the Sun, Explorer 1 produced its well-known family portrait, capturing stunning images of this 60-piece collection of inner planets. These photographs joined the spacecraft's portfolio, which included a total of 670 images taken during its flyby of Neptune. In the meantime, Explorer 2 achieved its own remarkable milestones during its mission. It recorded wind speeds higher than 1,300 meters per second, the fastest recorded winds in the solar system granting scientists crucial knowledge of Neptune's distant atmosphere and the location of its moon Triton. Temperatures at Triton's surface dropped to a freezing minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest spots in the solar system. Triton also exhibited ice volcanoes ejecting nitrogen gas and frozen particles up to 5 kilometers high, providing a new and exciting perspective on the Moon's features. These extraordinary findings deepened our understanding of the diverse and dynamic environments in the outer solar system. The contributions of both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 have been nothing short of revolutionary. 
The results of their missions revealed previously unknown details about the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which had been regarded as dormant. These findings have reshaped our understanding of their geologically active nature. In particular, Explorer to made history by being the first spacecraft to fly by both Neptune and Uranus, an achievement that has yet to be replicated. NASA employed a variety of innovative strategies to extend the missions of these pioneering spacecraft, such as shutting down non-essential power-saving systems. The goal is expected to continue until 2030, marking the end of an era for the engineers and researchers who dedicated themselves to this extraordinary journey. The design of Explorer 1 and Explorer to reflected cutting-edge engineering. These spacecraft were built to rotate slowly, minimizing blurring in the images they captured as they traversed space and time. Even before reaching the outer planets, the spacecraft began transmitting detailed images of Jupiter, revealing its wavy clouds and the well-known Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has fascinated scientists for decades. However, the most thrilling discovery was locating currently active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io. The spacecraft's instruments picked up unusual signals from the moon, which have since been verified by images of massive volcanic plumes and a surface marked by intense eruptions. One of Io's volcanoes erupted with a force 1,000 times larger than Mount St. Helens, covering an area nearly as large as France. As the spacecraft continued their journey, they were eventually powered down to conserve energy before setting out on their voyage into interstellar space. Remarkably, the images they captured did not include Mercury or Mars. Due to technical limitations, NASA launched additional notable spacecraft, including Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17th, Pioneer 10 beat Pioneer 11 to become the most distant spacecraft in 1998. Despite this, Explorer 1 continued its solitary journey on Earth for an additional 14 years prior to arriving at interstellar space on August 25th, 2012. The achievement of these Explorer missions was largely due to the innovative use of gravity assist maneuvers which helped propel the vehicles to their final destinations while using less fuel, instead of relying solely on their own propulsion systems. The spacecraft used assistance from gravity maneuvers involving the use of a planet's gravitational pull to speed up. This technique allowed them to travel vast distances without depleting their supply of fuel. As Explorer 1 got closer to Jupiter, the planet's immense gravity sped up the spacecraft. To avoid disastrous deviations in trajectory or speed, precision was necessary. These maneuvers allowed the spacecraft to effectively navigate their explorations of the solar system. In addition to Explorer 2, the use of gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune demonstrated the efficacy of this technique. Considering the vast achievements of these missions, we eagerly await further insights into the recent anomalies detected by Explorer 1. The Voyager spacecraft continue their missions that go beyond the scope of exploring the mysteries of the solar system Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Visually, Explorer 1's time-lapse images showcase 10 eruptions on Jupiter, in addition to revealing new moons and a previously unknown ring around the planet. These discoveries have significantly enhanced our comprehension of Jupiter's system. Similarly, Explorer 1 identified for new moons of Saturn my mass, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea and captured beautiful photographs of the planet and its rings, offering fresh insights into its intricate system. The spacecraft's groundbreaking visits to Uranus and Neptune provided useful information about their environments and moons, enriching our knowledge of the outer solar system. Following their planetary missions, both Voyager 2 and Explorer 1 established their bases in interstellar space, where they keep gathering valuable data. The results of ongoing research are enhancing our understanding of the universe beyond our solar system. As we await more details on Explorer 1's unusual signals and their repercussions for our comprehension of the extraordinary journeys of the cosmos, the wonder of these spacecraft continues to inspire among scientists and space admirers. 
Their accomplishments continue to advance our collective knowledge, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The Voyager missions have offered us unmatched insights into the solar system and beyond. Along with iconic images and scientific information, these missions convey a message and object made to convey the story of Earth to potential civilizations from another planet. Greetings are recorded on the Golden Record, music from various cultures in 55 languages and sounds of nature such as thunder and a whale's song. This message in a bottle represents the hope of humanity that one day intelligent beings beyond our world may find it and understand our essence. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were equipped with a range of scientific instruments that have revolutionized our understanding of space. These included magnetometers, plasma wave detectors, and imaging systems that supplied essential data on space phenomena. For example, the magnetometers provided useful information about the magnetic fields of Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn, displaying the relationships among these planets and their surroundings. Plasma wave detectors helped us understand the solar wind's behavior and its effects on planetary atmospheres. One of the most remarkable achievements of the Voyager missions was their ability to measure the heliosphere boundary, a region filled with solar particles and magnetic fields that surrounds our solar system. As Explorer 1 approached this boundary, it detected a shift from the solar wind to the interstellar medium, providing important data about the structure of the heliosphere and its role in shielding Earth from cosmic radiation. The spacecraft revealed a distinct line, known as the termination shock, where the solar wind slows down and becomes denser. Beyond this is where the heliosphere forms. The solar wind influences the interstellar medium, producing a dynamic and complicated setting. Explorer 2's journey has also made a significant difference in our understanding of the outer solar system. Its passes by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune provided crucial data, particularly its views of Uranus' magnetic field, which was found to be tilted in a way that challenged models of planetary magnetism. These discoveries have sparked further investigations into the magnetic fields of other planets. Missions like these have not only expanded scientific understanding but also sparked public interest in space. The stunning pictures of personal space and distant planets, along with the stories behind the spacecraft's missions, have influenced millions of people worldwide. Breathtaking photographs of Saturn's rings and Jupiter's volcanic moons have become iconic, encouraging the next generation of explorers and scientists.